Hi, my name is Fred Atkins. I'm the president of uh, Fred J. Dion Yacht Yard in Salem, Mass. A company that's actually been in my family for a hundred years uh, as of uh, July of 2014. A new owner uh, purchased a uh, Baltic 43. It was near, probably nearly 30 years old and uh, wanted to sort of rebuild this boat to his own specifications, which is really not too unusual in this business because people like the shape and like the design of some of the older, more classic boats, even if they're fiberglass. And so this project began by, by completely refitting this boat on deck inside. And, and so essentially it's a brand new boat in an older hull. The owner uh, has either a friend or a partner who had restored one of these boats on the west coast and he wanted, he liked it and wanted one just like it. So uh, uh, that's how this all began. Historically we have uh, done this, uh, these refits on classic wooden boats, but uh, uh, now, as these fiberglass boats become classics themselves, and there's typically lots of woodwork down below in these boats, so uh, it does involve our highly skilled carpenters as well as mechanics, electrical, and uh, all sorts of other trades in the boat uh, restoration business. I'm Richard Schroeder. I'm the yard manager. We kind of do a little bit of everything here, so. It was a project that kind of ramped up, and so we, it was December of last year um, where, when we first got word that we might be doing this, and it looked like paint the top side and, and decks and put a new teak deck on and make some rigging changes. And then as it went along, we started doing more and more things. And um, so I think it was probably 18 months, I think, from start to finish. My name is Tom Hayden, and I am the purchasing manager at the Fred J. Dion Yacht Yard. I pretty much acquired every single piece that went into that new rebuild, from the ordering of electric winches, to deck hardware, to making sure that the fellows that installed the teak decks had the proper materials to um, finish their job. But pretty much my job was to get everything that was needed for that job. Okay, my name is John Mincio. I do most of the machine shop work and the welding. There's a lot of modifying of, of metal parts. You know, the Ford puppet did that. Well, did that polish that all out. I did a lot of the polish work. If something's happened real quick, within a couple hours, other things can take just hours to just plan out what you want to do. It's custom stainless metal work to get a, a good lead to deploy the anchor off this roller. So all that is all custom fabricated. It all depends on the scope of the project, too. I mean, the pulpit took a fair amount of time to figure out angles and where you wanted things and you'd look at it and say, well, it doesn't look quite right and change it or whatever. It started on deck by stripping every bit of hardware off the deck and stripping off the uh, wooden teak decks and essentially replacing all of the hardware with new, more modern sailing hardware. Everything from number five metric screws to uh, uh, you know, multi-thousand dollar furling boom. Uh, keel, we had to have a new keel made, we had to have a designer that designed the keel, we had to keep him involved in the, the queue so that he could show up for the sail trials, and he had to figure out what was going in the boat as far as a genera forward and hot water heaters aft and what have you, so to balance the boat he had to design a keel that would um, take all that into consideration. The keel, uh, which required eight feet of draft, and uh, designed and put a new keel on, which is only uh, requiring five and a half feet of draft, so making it more user friendly uh, to sail around the Chesapeake. It's a trick, definitely a trick. You know, you, uh, you like to get a project where you know what all the steps are and exactly. sort of take them in order. And uh, so there's no question we did some things 
late in the project that might have been the very first things we did. Hi, my name is Kevin Johnson. I run a company called Pacific Yacht Management. Um, the owner hired me to manage and oversee the whole project and ensure his vision was seen through its fruition. Uh, it's John Lindsley, and I've been doing carpentry here, but um, we, you know, in this yard, it's so small that everybody has to do a little everything. So, like right now, I'm launching boats, and I did furnishing, and you, know, you just do everything. Why it's been so long, I started by, we took all the hardware off the decks. Um, all the old winches, tracks, um, everything. Strip the teak deck off, then filled a lot of holes and got set up for the guys to put the new deck on. And then over the winter time, um, spent a lot of time stripping the interior um, and cleaning and stripping and that sort of thing. And then uh, towards the end, the last thing I did was basically rebuild the whole companion way. But boy, it's been a year and a half. There's so many things, I just can't remember everything that we, you know, you touched everything. Uh, Edward Nolan, I uh, do all the mechanical, plumbing, you know, onboard systems. Technician type of guy. We repowered it, removed the old engine, replaced it with a new one, uh, installed and upgraded some uh, deck winches changed them from a mechanical to an electronic, you know, winch. We installed the generator. We did, uh, you know, furl of boom, all that on deck boom, mass work. We did quite a bit. Pretty much there wasn't many systems that we didn't touch. You know, new uh, faucets, deck shower wash, all that, electronics. Most exciting piece to watch come together. Um, I think two of two things. The refinishing of the interior was really impressive. Um, they spent a lot of time at it and it's absolutely flawless. It's gorgeous in there. But it was really important to the owner to have the inside um, the quality that he wanted. It is. And then these, I'd say the second one is the engineering side of it and the configurations of the electronics and how they laid, laid complex systems out in a very simple format for the owner. It was really impressive. Really thought through. Um, how it all should be done right, and they did a good job. Here we are, one day before he comes onto the boat. So, exciting day. Ongoing thing from the moment the job started to the moment that the boat left the dock. How's it feel, Fred? Smooth? Like butter. <laughs> like butter. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of tension sorry, on the uh, wheel. It was definitely um, a task. Every day is great, you know? <laughs> um, I love what I do. cruising, it was doing everything that it was supposed to do, and our final thought was that we hope the owner enjoys this as much as we do. steamrolled into let's just do it all it was um, it was it was hard as when he came in here I think his expression was you guys crushed this you know it was, it was good 
a lot of work though, a lot of hard work, but it paid off in the end with a smile on his face, I guess. Well, it was rewarding, number one, to get the contract, and it was, uh, it was rewarding, too, to be able to work to such high standards. And that's the way it's always been in our business, uh, restoring the classic wooden boats. Everything had to be to perfection and so forth and, and done to very high standards. So it was challenging on this job and, and obviously we enjoy a challenge and, uh, and, uh, and who wouldn't love to work to the, the very highest standards? Uh, and this is what the customer demanded and uh, that's what we wanted to provide.